What's up everyone, in this video I will show you how you can make your renders more cinematic. I will take this animation from me as an example and show you how I achieve more cinematic renders. Let's get straight to it. Okay, so first of all this won't be an overview video about the whole subject of cinematography and everything you need to know, but this video will instead just be an overview of the most useful, easy little tricks to make it more cinematic. So if you want to go into more details about the specific subject, there are so many other great tutorials about it and you can also let me know in the comments. Okay, as you can already see, I have here the nearly finished scene. I have two walls on the side made out of cubes with a concrete material and a back wall. I have also a roof with some holes um, where the light can pass through. And of course, I have this cracked floor I made in Houdini with some particles that fit through the cracks. Um, by the way, you can download this right now for free on my Gumroad, so make sure to check it out. Um, if you wanna rebuild my render and make sure to tag me on Instagram if you can use this asset. And yes, so let's go into camera view and let's see how the scene looks right now. Okay, so here we have the rendered scene. You can see the light from outside passing through and uh, HDRI with the moon coming from here just for some ambient. But yeah, the scene already looks okay, but if you compare it to the final result, um, that looks way better in my opinion. So the first thing I did was I added in a big volume cube. Um, let me show the difference. Okay, so you can already see there are some new light rays and the light rays come from like the volume combined with all these lights outside of here, passing through the ceiling, through these holes. And that already makes a huge difference. And in my opinion, light rays are just something beautiful and they can make your render more cinematic. But of course, it really depends on what kind of look you're going for. But yes, that's something I did to help my render. Okay, so the next thing I did, I added some particles, like some dust particles that fly around. I think this also just adds some small little details that go a long way. You can see them right now and they are just flying around and give it some more details. And yes, yeah, so that's the main thing I added to the scene. So let's go into the camera settings. Select the camera and go down here to the settings. So the first thing is the placement of the camera. And there's something called composition and that's like how you place your main subject and also the background into your camera. So this isn't an image, so this is just a still frame from a moving camera, but what I did here is I wanted to have some foreground elements in the lower third down here and place my subject right in the middle. Um, the background isn't lined up perfectly, but that's because the camera is moving, but there are different compositing methods and I suggest to you, if you haven't heard about it, make sure to check out the video, just Google on YouTube. And yeah, that's a really important subject to learn about if you wanna do cinematic shots. So the next thing is the focal length. I chose a 50 millimeter, which I think is also Blender's default, but it just really fit the scene. And it's a little bit more zoomed in, so you can see less of the background. Um, yeah, there are also some amazing comparison videos for different focal length. And yes, make sure to check them out too. So next, what I activated is depth of field. Okay, let me deactivate the volume real quick so we can see it a little bit better. Okay, now depth of field is off. You can see like everything is super sharp. Like you can even see small little details back here on the concrete. And if I activate it, it gets blurred out. Also the foreground right here, you can see that. And I put the focus on an empty, this empty, and I put it right on the face of the character. So now the focus is 
right on his face and the whole character is sharp and this is just also an additional trick to make it more realistic and of course also more cinematic. Another thing you can do is you can change the ratio if you're going to like for an anamorphic look because anamorphic lenses um, blur it more vertically. So let me show you an example. This is with normal like with normal ratio but if you put the ratio to three or something like that you can see like the bright lights get stretched and this can give you an additional cinematic look because many movies are filmed with anamorphic lenses and this can look really cool but yeah that's just a little side tip so let's turn it back to one and let's bring back the volume okay so let's go to the export settings so the first of all, let's take a look at the aspect ratio. Right now it's 16 to 9, which is like the normal landscape video format. But you can also make it even wider for the CinemaScope format, which is 21 to 9. Let's change it to this. And right now we have 21 to 9. And this helps it to make it even more cinematic because you also watch most of your cinema films at this aspect ratio. Okay, then next I would also suggest to use 25 or 24 FPS because most of the films are filmed at these frame rates. And yeah, it just gives it more of a cinematic feel to it. Okay, so now you can export your scene and let's go into post-production. I'm now in After Effects for the post-production, but it doesn't really matter if you use another software because I will just show you like the tricks and the basic principle behind it what I use, which you can do in really any editing software. Okay, so we have the shot right here. You can now better see like the dust particles around these heads, how they are floating around and the cool light rays. And also how the foreground is very on short because of the focal length and now let's take a cool framing so the first thing I added is some lens dirt as you can see right here um, so this just adds a little bit more of realism because it was filmed in a very dusty environment as you can see here and if you would film with normal camera um, the lens would also get a little bit dusty so yeah I just added some lens dirt I already did a tutorial on this the last thing I did was an adjustment layer with some lumetric color effects and noise just to color grade this and, and give it the finish so I put in a small amount of noise and yeah that's just something most film cameras also have. If you film in a dark environment, you get some noise. And then the Lumetric color effects here, I just added, made it a little bit brighter, added some contrast with an S-curve. And if you want, you can also add a small vignette to bring the focus even more to the middle. You can see if I turn it on and off again, and yes, so these were some of the tricks I used to make it more cinematic. And we are already at the end of this tutorial. Again, these were just some basic tips and some beginner tricks and just uh, an overview. And if you want to go more into that about these techniques, let me know in the comments and also check out other Blender tutorials, which explain it very good and go into details. But yeah, I just want to give you a little overview to show you what I do to get a more cinematic render. Um, yes, make sure to like the video if you liked it and dislike it if you don't. Also give feedback in the comments and make sure to check out my Patreon. I will launch a roadmap and some new cool tutorials very soon, so stay tuned to that. Also follow me on all the other socials like Instagram and also here on YouTube of course. And yes, thank you so much for watching. Also, don't forget to check out the free asset in Gumroad. First link in the description. And yes, enjoy your week and see you soon. Goodbye.